Now let's talk about our software easy test check table. When we open up the software, the setup screen will appear on the left and on the right we can see several graph displays. As it can be seen from the bottom left with the blue color text, our software automatically connects to the shake table which is connected to our computer via Ethernet. In order to activate the shake table, we may use this button. When we click on it, it will turn into enabled state and when it's enabled, our shake table is ready to go on. Our software also supports external data acquisition systems. For example, in this demonstration, we have connected our 16-channel dynamic data acquisition device, which we call Testbox 2010, to our system. Testbox 2010 and the shake table configuration is our solution as a measurement set for educational or experimental purposes. So, in order to configure the data acquisition device, we may click on the second window and the table for all the channels of the data acquisition device will appear. By using the, this table, we can calibrate or we can filter each channel of the data acquisition device separately. In order to send the waves to shake table, software offers two options. One of these options is easy mode. In the easy mode, we have two different options. In the point one, we can move the table to a given point with a given speed. In the sign mode, we can send a sinusoidal wave to our shake table with a given amplitude, with a given frequency, and of course, for the cycles that we want. For example, now let's send a sinusoidal wave to our shake table. As you can see, you can follow the progress of the wave by watching the blue line. Now, let's try the point mode. Let's say the device should go to 175 millimeters with the given speed. When we click on the start button, as you can see, it has gone 175 millimeters to the left. The other mode for sending a wave to the shake table is of course profile menu. When we click on the profile menu, you, you can see the M button. When we click on this M button, here you can see different earthquake data or you can load any earthquake data or any given waveform and also you can create a signal by using the signal generator. For example, you can add sinusoidal wave to a triangular wave and this will be the waveform that you will send to the shake table. You can change all the parameters of it and create a specific signal by using the signal generator. Now let's use a real earthquake data which is coming from the El Centro. You can actually find this earthquake data by looking at the internet. Since we have the data for the El Centro earthquake, let's try to upload this to our device. So basically, we will choose El Centro from it, and then we will close it. And here, as you can see, El Centro title is appeared. Let's start the profile by basically clicking on the start button. So this is the real-time data. Let us change the earthquake and let's try Loma this time. By changing the scale factor, we can even increase the display.
displacements in the earthquake. So let's make it 120. And let's try it this time. Now let's use another earthquake and see whether our building will collapse or not. 